The CBS drama NCIS not only is the number one watched series on television, it's also the highest rated drama in the world. As it wraps up its 15th year, turns out only Gunsmoke and Lassie have had a longer tenure on CBS. QT Scott Breen has a friend who writes for the hit show and recently got to spend some time on set to take us behind the scenes. Hey, what a great time. Now, some of you may remember Brendan Feely, who used to report with us right here in Billings, a job that he says was sort of his plan C. This was actually my very first love. Uh, I attempted to do this right out of college and uh, failed spectacularly. So, Feely earned his television start 17 years ago in Billings as a news reporter, much to the surprise of Wilmer Valderrama, who plays Agent Torres. A news reporter, okay. Oh man, that makes so much sense. I didn't know that, but now that I do. Now that he does, Torres, shooting on location, calls Feely over for a little interrogation. I have a question. Can we hug? <laughs> <laughs> What's your question? question? Yeah. You were a news reporter? You didn't know? No! <laughs> then Valderrama wants a little show and tell. I just want to take a couple of minutes of your time. Do you know your name? Did you see what happened over I there? I did. I really did. No. Do, you, do you have any idea what happened? <sighs> He's the nicest guy. What was your question? <laughs> Almost two decades after reporting, Feely is in his third year of writing for NCIS. He's responsible for creating three shows a season, each idea hatched on this whiteboard in his office. Uh, and this is the very first scene in the episode. This is the scene that goes before the main titles. I am teaming its interior of a patrol car that's speeding down the highway. This episode title, a fantastic play on words, sight unseen. The title came out of many failed titles, so I won't go through the bad ones. This was an idea about a blind woman who witnesses a crime. You see Feely's office on the lot decorated with mementos, including this picture signed by the cast. Lead actor Mark Harmon had it framed for Feely after his first script hit the air, a sign of collaboration between writer and characters. I love when actors come up and give me a line that I wish that I had written, where I'm like, I spent a week trying to figure out what you say, and you just in five seconds knew. I love his scripts, you know, he, he gravitates towards doing, you know, crimes that also have some kind of emotional attachment to it. You want to be able to root for somebody? Uh, there's some really funny Torres moments that he's definitely developed that's helped shape, you know, the layers of, of my character, so I'm, I'm grateful for that. Marilee Talkington plays the blind woman in this episode. He was very open to dialogue because there was a few little tweaks here and there that I, you know, I think she would actually say this, it's more like this. Hey, you might recognize this, MTAC, here on the iconic set of NCIS. You know, this is the 350th episode coming up. That's 15 years, 15 years of iconic characters, if you will, walking up and down these stairs. I feel like I'm kind of cheating, you know? I just got here two years ago and uh, I'm already celebrating the 350. You know, so it's very funny that I get to say that and not everyone else that's not here. Michael Weatherly, sorry not sorry. I took your 350 celebration, kid. Weatherly, of course, played the prominent role of Agent Anthony Dinozo for 13 years before leaving a couple years ago for his own CBS series, Bull. Of course, the main character here is Agent Jethro Gibbs, played by Harmon. Feely says some of his best writing advice, even today, came from the actor. A great script, you'd be able to take the names above each piece of dialogue out, erase it, and simply have the dialogue. And then a person that doesn't know who's speaking, who's familiar with our show, would be able to go back, look at the script, and say, that's a Gibbs line, that's a Ducky line. Tomorrow at 5.30 on Q2, a sneak peek at tomorrow night's episode. Plus, Brendan and Mara Lee show us the challenges behind the scenes of accommodating the visually impaired actress.